All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to the call. Hi, it's Kushi Malaika, and I'm here with two wonderful guests. We're gonna talk a little bit about some um, ins and outs of working through this corona pandemic. So we're gonna take a look at some of your options if uh, maybe you're, you're working um, and uh, you're looking for some unemployment and you're not sure uh, about it. We're, we're gonna get uh, Carly uh, to talk about that uh, with you. And then we've got Sam on the call and Sam is just going to um, give you a, a little reminder on how to kind of stay in the loop and stay in contact with one another. So uh, right now, we're just going to let Carly take it away and talk a little bit about uh, unemployment. So depending where you are located, each state is a little bit different and has its own requirements that you have to meet to file for unemployment. Um, one thing that they just did for um, individuals like such as ourselves, self-employed workers wouldn't typically qualify for unemployment. Um, but now under the government's coronavirus relief package, you do. Um, there are certain stipulations and like paperwork that you have to provide, uh, but you are able to receive benefits. Um, one of those things is say self-employed is it has extended benefits and provide an extra up to six hundred dollars per week. That's just per week for up to thirteen weeks full of benefits. So you can get paid, um, continue doing what you're doing at home, and a lot of the times aside from the coronavirus, when you apply for unemployment, you also have to apply at iowaworks, I think, .org or something like that, and show that you're looking for another job because they don't wanna just hand you money for a long, long time. But what they are doing is with the exception, if you somehow fall under, um, like you have a compromised immune system and you are not able to work at the time, uh, there is a section for that and you do not have to look for employment until the coronavirus has passed. Um, there's also another thing you can do. It's the CARES Act benefit. Um, this is something you don't have to apply for. Um, as far as I could find with research, that is kind of what people are calling the stimulus check, um, up to $1,200. And payments, it's totally separate from filing for unemployment, so you can get both benefits. Um, and that is based off of information from the IRS from your taxes from last year. Um, kind of back to the unemployment, it's based off the most recent 52 week period. Um, and each state kind of sets a maximum of how much money you will and can receive. Um, so you're not gonna be getting you know, a boatload of cash, but it's enough to help get you by with the necessity bills that you have to pay. Um, they also have a hotline if you have any questions. We'll link all the websites that you can go to to find information and do a little research for yourself. Um, but it's, you literally just pick up your phone and dial 211. Um, it's the COVID-19 hotline and they give you all sorts of answers for questions you might have depending on what sort of circumstances you fall under. Um, some of the things you have to provide when you're filing for self-employment and information to have on hand. Um, your employment history, proof of employment for the past 18 months, um, the name and address of your employer, um, you do have to do a brief description of why your job came to a stop, whether it's because of the virus, your business was shut down, um, to protect your own health. You also have to provide your bank information so that with um, what is it, your routing number and your account number so that they can deposit your, your check when it does come. Um, and then some pay stubs and a W-2. Um, you can go to, I believe it's careeronestop.org. We'll go ahead and link that. And they, when you do file for unemployment, there are certain hours that you are able to or eligible to apply. Otherwise it's shut down and you can't access the website. So that would be Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. And then Saturday, Sunday, 6 a.m. until 7.30 p.m. And the way that they're categorizing filing is based off the last digit of your social security number. And they'll tell you whether you do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, because there's so many people that are filing right now, they're getting overwhelmed with all sorts of information. Um, so that is also on the website and you'll be able to find that out. Um, once you go to careeronestop.org, you'll find your specific state that you're located in, select that. 
um, and then you choose your filing preference. If you don't have access to a computer or online, but you have a cell phone, you can file over the phone. Um, you can also have them send you paperwork. Obviously, that'll take a little bit longer, um, but you can file on paper. And then if you do have a computer, you can file online. So it's short and simple. Um, and I believe that's, that's most of the information that I had um, for this right now. I think, Sam, if you want to go ahead and take over on how to stay in contact with people and... Yeah, absolutely. So obviously, um, the encouragement and the order in some areas is to stay at home under any circumstances unless you absolutely, absolutely have to leave the house. And uh, not only can that be like, here for some of us, it gets us a little bit out of the loop. We don't know exactly what's going on uh, around us in the community. And believe it or not, there is still a lot of things going on. Um, so locally, we have different Facebook groups that have information on, like carry out food, um, places give free food, free clothes, free supplies, rental assistance, uh, anything along those lines. So social media could be your best friend in these times, um, especially if you have lots of friends like I do on Facebook or Snapchat or Twitter, um, you know, they're the news outlets, the local businesses themselves, stay updated with those pages because there's gonna be uh, services provided free of charge, there's gonna be things like free delivery, there's gonna be things being donated and an opportunity to donate for those who are able to. Um, so definitely stay in the loop and not to mention really good uh, live streams and uh, just different entertainment on the internet throughout just to keep us all sane through all that. So, and then things like Zoom, uh, you know, video conferencing, stuff like that is a great way to stay, you know, in the loop and in contact with your friends. So this feels a little bit more normal. Absolutely. Wonderful. So um, we want to, uh, going to be coming uh, live to you either in a video that's already pre recorded or some live. So like uh, Sam was saying, get connected on Zoom. It's a great way to see each other, you know, just pour each other a drink. I don't know, just we can kind of uh, be there together. And uh, we're still going through stress. You need a hug and it's a virtual hug is all we can do. Just being there is the best that we can. We still need to be there for one another. We're going through depression and anxiety and, and you know, and sickness and financial uh, ills. So um, let's uh, support one another. If you hear about something, share it in the group so we all hear it. That's why we're recording uh, this video today. We find out some, some breaking news that's going to help our family, our friends, and, um, and associates, then this is why you know we're coming uh, to you today. So thank you, Carly. Thanks, Sam, for joining today. And I look thank forward you. to hearing more from you real soon. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Peace be with you. Stay healthy. For sure. All right. And find those uh, uh, links down in the description box uh, on the on the video. You just click on those and it'll take you right to the sites. And we also have that list of 24 jobs too. So there's a list of 24 and you're going to find that in the description below. All right. Until next time. Much love, guys. Bye. Oh. <laughs> That's intense.